We've talked about how to use a set screw to lock a shaft in a hole rotationally, but what if what if you wanted to retain a shaft in a hole or uh, maybe in a bearing and allow it to, uh, maybe you don't care about locking it rotationally, but you want to lock, lock it axially so that uh, that that shaft can't move in and out. Um, uh, again, in the axial direction. Uh, a common example of this is uh, bearings, putting a shaft into a bearing. How do you prevent the, the bearing from sliding axially along the length of the shaft or vice versa? How do you, how do you prevent the shaft from sliding out of the bearing axially? Now, in, in that situation, you, you couldn't use a set screw because you can't put a set screw through a ball bearing. It would ruin the ball bearing. Um, so how do you lock that, that shaft in place axially? How do you prevent it from sliding back and forth? Well, the answer is by using retaining rings. Uh, retaining rings can be used for uh, a lot of different things. One of the common uses is for shafts in a bearing, but that's certainly not the only use. Um, they are used on cylindrical objects, so shafts or rods or axles, that kind of thing. And they're used to, uh, to prevent or control axial motion. Uh, so one example is this um, this gearbox here that we have, and we've looked at this in some other videos. Um, you'll notice that there are some retaining rings in here. So let me get my pointer here. All right, so this this right here, this is one retaining ring. I wonder if I no, I can't really slide it. That's a retaining ring right there. Well, this is the same retaining ring. These are the the two open ends of that retaining ring. It it uh, continues all the way around like that and then back here and it's open in the middle so that retaining ring is o open from this loop to, to that loop um, here's another one right here that you can see a little bit more easily maybe we can spin this one a little bit a little bit yeah so that this is a, a smaller retaining ring right here goes all the way around and then back there, and then it's open in the middle. And so this, this retaining ring right here is retaining the bearing, which you can see kind of behind it. Whereas this retaining ring right here is retaining the shaft, which is this part right here. So this, this is the end of the shaft, and that same shaft is, is right here. This is that, that shaft, which, uh, you know, spins rotationally, which we want. Um, so let's take a look at, at how that retaining ring works. I've got, uh, there's a special tool right here. You can see these little prongs or these teeth at the end uh, are used to um, install or uninstall these little retaining rings. So if you line it up just right, which is not always easy to do. Okay, there we go. Now I've engaged those little loops or, or eyelets. Ah, darn it, came off. Let's try that once more. Okay, so now I, I can squeeze on these, these pliers, this tool, and it opens up that, see how the, the retaining ring is opening off, and now I can pull it off, see? See how it, the diameter opens up. That's how you install and uninstall a retaining ring. So now, putting this down, um, now I, I have this, uh, this shaft collar that's, that's attached to this, uh, this shaft. So we, we, we can't pull it out. But if that shaft collar was gone, then I, I would be able to just slide this, uh, slide this shaft. I could, I could pull it out like that. Uh, my, our gear might, you know, hit this 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 uh, sprocket here, but uh, hopefully that that makes sense. What I'm saying, yeah. Uh, this the uh, the retaining ring right here is what was holding the shaft in place, preventing the shaft from being pulled out. You know, if if some of the other obstacles weren't there. Um, oh, uh, side note: here's another set screw right here. We got this set screw that is holding this uh, this uh, spur gear onto onto a shaft. Oh, and there's a, a little key right there. We talked about, oh, where are we? we? Talked about using keys when we're looking at that one-way ball bearing. Uh, keys are used in, in uh, 
more than just for one-way ball bearings could be used. Uh, they're used in gears a lot, which is why you see it right here. So that key is half in the gear, and the other half of the key, which you cannot see, is in a slot inside this axle, and that that keys them, you know, keys them together, prevents uh, uh, relative rotational motion between the two. Anyway, um, so that that's uh, that that's a retaining ring. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.